up everybody, it's Nick Taylor with the Crafty Gents and I'm back here giving you another beer tasting. Uh, this one's coming at you from Chronicle Brewery in Bowenville, Ontario. We love Chronicle, uh, full disclosure. I love I, you, John. I love John and everyone there at Chronicle. They're great and they pump out so many delicious beers. This one, John gave me a sample of when I picked up this uh, can and I was a big fan. I'm excited to try it out of the can though. Uh, this is called File Ooh. Under X. It's an Oreo milkshake IPA and I feel bad because I'm confident that there is some sort of reference to uh, like an old school, maybe like video game or movie it's or the like X-Files. X-Files. That's exactly it. I've never seen it. I think I was too young to, to watch the X-Files like when I was a kid. And by too young, I mean too scared because I'm terrified of horror movies. And I feel like that was horror, even though it's not a movie. Uh, anyways, it's an Oreo milkshake IPA. And milkshake IPAs uh, typically have, you know, the lactose edition which gives it like a creamier, full-bodied uh, variation of like, basically like the New England IPA style. So it's like hopped up with extra fruit additions or fermentable sugars, and then obviously the lactose as well. And you can see right now, this is like opaque. It looks like Five Alive, um, looking at it. Like it is, it's like almost like a dark gold, but it's so thick you can almost see the creaminess. I don't know, can you guys see the creaminess on this? Yeah, you got it, you get it, you get it. And so, uh, yeah, so this is uh, typically what you would expect with this style, the, um, the color and everything, it's like bright. Um, and just being here, not even putting my beak on it yet, you can already smell the aromas coming off of it. Um, with this one, I'm interested to see what it is. Typically also with this style, you would add like vanilla sometimes as well, and I know that this, one in particular does have vanilla, so I would expect that. And right away, there's like citrus, tropical aromas, like there's, I get like some, some grapefruit and orange and lemon, lots of lemon actually. And then there is like a tiny bit of like, there's subtle chocolate and vanilla. Vanilla is really big on the aroma there too. Um, The creaminess is, that shit is good. It's actually really, really, really dope. And the bitterness is like, it's there. It's not quite, like it is a creamy, creamy body. And it's filled with like these citrus and tropical notes with a little bit of vanilla to back it up, which I think just adds to that creaminess. And then there's a tiny bit of um, a bitterness on the back end too. Um, All together, it's like, it's very well balanced, but also it's, it's well balanced, but then it has like these, these big, big hop character or big hop characters in it, like, like I just mentioned. So it just makes it like a pumped up version uh, of like a New England style IPA. And they're already pumped up versions of IPAs. So like, this is just like IPAs on steroids. I feel like that's a terrible description of a beer. <laughs> yeah. So. But no, this is great. And I really love the the chocolate vanilla addition to this. I feel like that adds a little bit of like diversity that I haven't really seen, not diversity, but like depth that I haven't really seen too much of uh, with this style. So I'm really digging it. And this is definitely crushable, which is, you know, that's dangerous because I feel like a few of these would put you on your beak, if you know what I mean. So that's it. Uh, other than that, go check out Chronicle. They're <laughs> fucking sick. They are really sick. And they're such a good time and they're always expanding. I know they have like two big rooms now and everyone's here fucking laughing. I didn't even make any jokes. So that's great. This one is definitely for daddy, which isn't me, but daddy's off to the side here. He's gonna be digging this one. So I'm gonna give it to him and let him try it out. Uh, but that's it. Stay golden. See you guys later.